Welcome back to the important question paper discussion for the subject Python programming. Today I'll be discussing most important question from module four. Module four is basically uh, the concept of object oriented programming of Python programming. Here I have listed out the most important questions which you can expect in the forthcoming examination. Please make a note on the following questions. Explain the following uh, terms. What is class? What do you mean by object? What do you mean by reference variable? And what is object oriented programming? So like a basic definition can be asked. Whenever you are writing the basic definition, please don't forget to write the examples. That is most important. Another important questions I have seen in several question paper, like what do you mean by INIT method and what is STR method? Try to explain with the help of a simple programming that is most desirable for every type of examination. Another one is, uh, what do you mean by pure function and modifiers? Explain with the help of uh, example. Okay, then demonstrate the operator overloading. What is an operator overloading? Same operator you will be using for different type of purpose that you are supposed to explain with the help of a simple program snippet. Next is called, explain the function, uh, the print time that takes two time object and print the total time in the form of a hour, minute, second. This is one of the important questions I have seen in the year of 2019 and 20. So kindly make a note of that. Algorithm is mandatory. Later you can go for like a programming. All right. Yeah. Now I'll be continuing further. So even I have identified so many questions, but I'll be discussing which are the questions which are most repeated several number of times. What is polymorphism? Develop a program to show the polymorphism. Similarly, you have to explain about the concept of encapsulation. But it is one of the most important peculiarity of object-oriented programming. Also, you have to explain about the inheritance. What do you mean by inheritance? Okay, so child class, parent class, so many terminology you are supposed to explain with the help of a suitable example. Explain the difference between shallow copying and deep copying with the help of a suitable example. How to uh, do, how to go for like a shallow copy? What are the impacts? You can explain with the help of a diagram. Develop a program to demonstrate the rectangle class. This also I have seen in several time of, several number of times. Then write a program to read the display and count the number of sentences for the given file. So these are the like uh, most few most important questions I have noticed in my previous year question paper collection. Also, like uh, you have to explain whenever you are explaining the class object, you need to explain with the help of some simple program how to define the class, what are the methods, right? So where whatever you are writing now, try to justify with the help of programming. That is most important uh, tips I wanted to convince you. So if you follow that, you can score above 90 plus. There is no need to worry because the thing, whatever you are writing, no, definitely you can expect the similar kind of marks by right? because it's at a purely technical programming subjects. So nobody can block you. Uh, you try to give uh, like uh, examples. Whenever you're writing the programming, try to write the algorithms. That is also having weightage, right? So if you, if you missed some lines of the programming, also no need to worry because if your algorithm is proper, definitely you have to explain properly try to follow up the syntax properly because you might have learned c plus plus and c don't you know, confuse with the c plus plus c whenever you are writing with the python right so that is another hint i want to convince you because some people whenever are writing no they will write some syntax of c plus plus language when i'm doing the evaluation i observe like that so please don't do that you focus on like uh, whatever the language you are focusing you be focused okay so thank you very much for watching this video let me know if you have any queries i wanted to address with you in the comment box Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best for your examination.